Hey guys, and welcome to my review of the USS Enterprise NCC-1701D by Diamond Select Toys. Uh, this is a ship that they released a couple years ago, uh, but they are re-releasing again this year. Uh, and so I just wanted to get a review out there for it since it is coming out again this year. And it's it's definitely an awesome ship. I mean, you can see here, it's it's huge. I was shocked when I got this thing how big it was. I mean, here's a quick comparison to the Eagle Moss version of the Enterprise-D. And you can definitely see how big it is uh, compared to that. Uh, but it's, it's an awesome ship. It has a lot of nice uh, sculpted in details on the saucer. And we'll see if we can see those a little later. And there's the, the shot of it from the front. And it's just a great ship. Very, very happy with uh, Diamond Select Toys recently releasing this guy. Uh, so we'll take a little closer look here and see what's, what we can see. Uh, so as you can see on the top of the saucer section, you can see all the nice little sculpted in details here. Uh, there's no Aztec or anything, but it looks pretty good even without that. Just because of all those nice little details. It has a lot of nice window detailing on here. All the escape pods you can see. And then on the underside here again, you can see it's it's just very nicely detailed. Uh, this is an original release the, from the first wave. So this ship did have an issue, which they've corrected. Uh, the neck didn't have any windows on it. Uh, they did give send out decals to people that wanted them to put the windows on, and I did get those decals. I just have never put them on. But the the newer ships, uh, the re-releases of this guy, that is fixed. So they all have the windows on there, and I might get around to doing it at some point. I just I just haven't. Uh, so let's see here again. The secondary hull, the star drive, I believe, is same level of detail on it. The one thing I've heard some complaints about is the, the pylons are too short. Uh, they're supposed to be a little longer, but honestly, you don't really notice. And it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, it still looks good either way. And there's the top of the, uh, the star drive section. And there it is from the back. Like I said, it looks really nice. It's a great uh, version of the Enterprise D, and it's the best one this size that has ever been released. So I'm going to pop it back on its stand here so we can take a little more look at the lights on it. Uh, and it does separate, and I will show that to you here in just a second. It does separate, uh, but we'll turn the lights on. There's a button on the star drive section here to turn the lights on feature. So there's the lights for this guy. Nice lighting. Zero light bleed on this ship. Uh, none whatsoever. Uh, you can see the impulse engines are all lit up there. The bridge has a little light on it. Uh, lighting is really nice on it. Very happy with it. Uh, and then we'll show you the saucer separation. It should play. It should play us out. It doesn't seem to always do it, but it should play. No, no sound, which is fine. Uh, so the secondary hull that stay lit, stays lit up. If it'll stay standing. Uh, this ship, it did come with two stands. Um, I don't know where the other one is, uh, and the issue with the stands is this thing is so front heavy that it always tips when it's on the stand. So I started using the little one that it came with, that's supposed to be for the for the uh, star drive here when it's in separated mode. You can see there's uh, two peg holes, there's one in the front and there's one in the back for when it's separated. So it'll stay standing like that, and then the saucer section here separated. It's supposed to stay lit up, but I can't find a battery for it right now. Uh, but you can see here the peg hole for its stand goes in there. And then you can see the connectors for where it goes on. It works. It has a, a magnet in it. It's a pretty powerful magnet uh, that keeps it together when it's separated. And it is really quite nice. Um, and we'll see here when we put it back together how strong of a magnet this thing has in it. It just kind of grabs it uh, and we can put it back together. There we go. And then all the lights came back on since it is back together. So we'll pop the stand back in the front one. And there's that. So like I said, it's definitely a good ship. Very nice lighting, very nice sculpt and, and details on it. Very happy with this ship. And we'll run through the sounds now. So I'm going to turn the lights off. And we'll run through the sounds.
See? Front heavy. Falls over on the stand a lot if you don't have it positioned right. So we'll get it back here. Alright, and that's it for the sounds. Uh, just like Excelsior and Enterprise B, it definitely has a good quality speaker on it, so the sounds come through nice and clear. And again, very nice lighting. Um, and as you saw when it fell over, it, it is a bit top-heavy. I've seen a lot of people use both stands at the same time. Uh, I just use the smaller one because it seems to work better than the bigger one did. That's my only real complaint about it is, is it's, it's front-heavy, so the stand, it just falls forward a lot of the time. So that's the only issue that I have with it. And like I said, DST is re-releasing this guy this year at some point. I know they're selling it directly for, for $90, and it's it's a little more expensive than some of their other ships directly from them. Again, it's it's a big ship, and it does have the saucer separation in both sections can stay lit up independently, so it's kind of understandable. Uh, but other sites have it for a little less. I'll link to a couple places in the description as to where to pick this guy up. And it is re-releasing re this year. So it's definitely a good ship. I would definitely recommend it if you're a fan of the Enterprise D and of the next generation. It is probably the best version of the Enterprise D out there. So I would definitely recommend picking this guy up uh, whenever it re-releases this year. And I'll see you on Friday with a review of the Klingon Katinga class from Eagle Moss. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. And I'll see you on Friday. Thank you for watching.